It really is very funny of a world. I was talking a few minutes ago in my last video about, you know, not going away and St. Patrick's Day ministers and the Taoiseach to America on St. Patrick's Day. They save money and they give it to charities, give it to the homeless and they give it to the hospitals and give it to anybody apart from them. Um, and you know what? I looked, it just randomly came up on my computer and I just logged, I literally just turned it on and the first article that came up. Irish taxpayers shout out 20,000 a month flying politicians around the world to stay in pushy hotels. Like, that, what's the what's the chances of that? I was literally talking about it. And, you know, there's my proof now. There's my proof. 20,000 a month. Any more, I have to say. Like, that would do some good. Let's be honest. Would that do some good for, let's say, homeless, some homeless people? That would do some good to go towards, you know, you know, buying houses and doing them up. The councils can do them up and put them into it. That would, would that not be would that not be a better idea than flying Leo Fagg around half the countries in the world? Would that would that be a great idea? I think that would be a very good idea. The people who dissolve it, um, and you know the people lying you know, on trolleys in the hospital, people who have been living here all their life, have paid their tax all their life to the state, who have been loyal to the state all their life, have worked in the state all their life, and you know when the government just be like, we don't care. And, you know, maybe that would be nice if they give that money maybe to oh, more hospital beds instead of flying politicians half around the world. Would that not be nice? Would that not be something genuine to do? Something nice for the government to do? Would it? Would it not be like... Like, I can't take of it. If I was Taoiseach and this was the amount of money the taxpayer was spending on, on what, if there's people lying in the street and people lying in hospital trolleys, 700 and something lying in hospital trolleys, I would really would sign this Taoiseach if I heard that. That my politicians, the ministers in the cabinet were going here, there and everywhere in jets and paying for pushy hotels in Las Vegas. and You know, I would rather resign. I would rather resign. As simple as that. I would rather resign. I would never allow that if I was Taoiseach. I never would. I really wouldn't. Because I would rather be 10 feet under than rather to allow 20,000 to go towards pushy hotels in the middle of God knows where. It's simple as that. I would rather, I would rather die than let that happen. And I'm, if Taoiseach was any good, if Leo Fack was any good, he would, he would do the same as me. He would be very disgusted with this. I'm sure he hasn't bothered even his ass to even look at it, the article. I'm sure he hasn't been even too bothered, to be honest. But, um, you know, it's a good, it maybe it might be a good thing as a similar St. Patrick's Day. And maybe it might stop using the government jet altogether. Maybe just decommission it for a while. And, you know, maybe just keep them at home, the TDs, and maybe not bother going over to Europe. And maybe just let them do the wrong thing in Europe. And, you know, maybe you might save a bit of money. And not for yourself, obviously, for for the people of Ireland who are suffering under your leadership. Maybe that might be a good option. I think it could be. I think it would be a very good option. But apparently they don't give a damn. But uh, anyway, we always knew that. They didn't really give a damn anyway. Um... The only time to give a damn is when people absolutely go absolutely ballistic over something. Um, which, what happened this week, the, uh, people absolutely went very ballistic over them going to commemorate the Black and Tans. People absolutely were going to go metal over it. And w which was proper order, proper order. Like, people absolutely stood up. Like, the last time I seen people stood up so aggressively and so united, I suppose it was the last time was the Irish water protests. And, you know, they really brought down the government. Like, the government don't know what to say now. They're really just... Very shocked, and everybody <laughs> turned against them. Like, even the city councils and county councils turned against them. <laughs> and they really were shocked. Like, they were shocked. They were absolutely horrified to see how many people turned against them. I raise my, I, I raise my case. Um, <laughs> but anyway, you know, it's an idea. As I said in the last video, it's an idea. But I leave the article in the description. Please check it out. Because it's insane some things they have to get. That, and I say the word have to. Have to. They don't need it. They have to get it. 